This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Mathis versus Hayde. You all are dating. You've been together for two years. You've talked about marriage, but claims of infidelity are just rocking this relationship. Is that right, Mr. Mathis? Yes, Your Honor, it is. Now, notice from the court papers, there's a 17-year age difference between you and Ms. Hayde. Is that right? Yes. Yes, Your Honor. How did you all meet? Uh, well, we met on uh, Instagram, social media. I got, like, a hijabi thing. So I was looking at girls and hijabs, and I came across her profile, Rocky's profile, and uh, I, I just remember thinking, she'll make somebody a good wife one day. Not me. Just, just somebody. Just somebody, yeah. yeah. So, make somebody a good wife. Yeah, like... Okay, so how do you go from she gonna make somebody a good wife to, well, wait a minute, maybe it's me that she gonna make a good wife for. That's the in this. I get a, a message in my DM one day saying, hey, I noticed you've been watching me. What's up? Do you know about astral projection? And we're in the metaphysics and things like that. So. Okay, astral projection. Astral projection. Okay, all right. Yeah. So you... So is this true? You you realized he was checking you out and you That's said... That's your honor. We talked and we found out about each other and what we're interested in and, you know, he caught my attention. So you all start corresponding? Yes. What made you fall in love with him? Um, he made me feel secure because at that time I was going through things with my family and it wasn't the best and I had to get out of there and, um, he was willing to help me out and made me feel secure and protected and that's what I needed at that time. You, you don't have to be in that when someone's willing to love you. Yeah, that connection, that spark was it... there from the very beginning. You connected? Yeah, See, I'll she's see. connected right now. She don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what it looks like. When you just connect, I mean, you don't even have to Why say anything. Why you never make me blush in front of this? You don't have to say anything. <laughs> you don't have to do anything. You just feel that connection. Mm-hmm. See? See? You feel it? Stop it, Mr. See? Miller. That's what it looks like, right? Yeah. I... And that's what you all felt. So, Mr. Mathis, why in the world are you here claiming she's cheating? Well, first thing is this right here. What is that? It's a text message that I have. Right. Where did you get the text message from? Out her phone when I was sneaking in it. So... Your Honor, let's make this clear. I don't uh, uh, invade his privacy at all, so I think that's really pure disrespectful for uh, you to come behind my back and go through my phone. So let's take a look at this message. Will Ron... you grab that for me? Yes. Thank you, Ron. Thank you, sir. Your Honor. Okay. Some other guy has written, your love life, remember? We need to work on that. Yes, I would love another reading with you. And I would love to have your beautiful energy in my space again. You know where my dorm is. Your Honor, I can explain that. All right, we want an explanation for that. Really, originally, the only reason I went to him is for him to do a reading on me and his relationship. And, um... Sounds... So he's talking about your love life. Sound yes. Good. And you have gone to him about your love life? Yes, to get a tarot reading. And he's the only one that does that. And we go to school together. We're just friends. And so, Mr. Mathis, you're not buying this. Sound good. You know, everything can sound good. Mm. Here's my problem. Okay, you go to someone, Miss Haid, who does a reading, mm-hmm. does a reading, tells you what he thinks. Mm-hmm. Right. He not wants it. your beautiful energy in his space. Thank you. Your Honor, I mean, that means nothing. There's plenty but, of people but, who, uh, who have beautiful energy. You say it means nothing. Right. I would love to have your beautiful energy in my space. I want my beautiful energy in your space. But... <laughs> okay. So that, those, that's, that's your music. Honor. Yeah. Those are powerful <laughs> words. You just don't say that to everybody. Right. It's strictly right. platonic. You're asking for honesty in this relationship. Now, right? starts in deception, ends in deception. So my thing is to keep this growing, when issues arise, we need to attack them. And you need to attack them with honesty. Right. And truth. Right. So, Mr. Mathis, have you found anything else that make you think that she's cheating? Yes. What have you found? One more thing I found is this old nice hotel towel laid on the bed. You know, you know, you know, you know a hotel towel because it's got the threads in it. Yeah. So you found a towel. Where did you find this towel? In my house. Okay, it... Rob, would you get the get this uh, yes, piece of Rob. evidence for us? You please? can check it out. Thanks, sir. Because I'm like, okay, that, a towel, that don't... towel supposed to be no, in your that house. Don't look like somebody took a towel and showered it. They look like somebody said, "Let me lay this out." Can y'all... But this is the towel you put down on the bed after the shower. Yes, ma'am. And this is what you use to dry your hair with. Yes. 
Okay, do you dry your hair dragging it across the bed? I mean, no, I don't, Your Honor, I, don't I was laying down. Why it's laid out like it this. Don't I it had look it like wrapped up around my head. When you lay down in the snow, do like that. Don't it look like no, that? Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs> no. Look at them hair prints above the towel. You don't see that all up on it. Come so, on, man. All of this has led to no trust in this relationship. Yes. We noticed in the court papers that you're still married. Is that correct? All right. You are a married man. You see my devil? He is, Your Honor. And I just found that out. I'm busted. He's been hiding it for two years, Your Honor. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You've been with this man for two years. Yes, Your Honor, and he's been hiding it for two years. He's standing over here talking about honesty, but he, he's the one who hasn't been honest with me from the very jump. I, I, when did you find out that he was still married? About last week, he told me. <laughs> so you've known for a week <laughs> that this man, who is your knight in shining armor... Yes, Your Honor. ...has been married the entire time. Yes, Your Honor, and I feel betrayed. Like, not only that, and he has children as well. <laughs> And you didn't know he had kids? He didn't tell me none. Can I defend myself? What? Can I defend myself? Okay, I mean, tell me. Y'all talking like I ain't here. Y'all ain't here. This, this okay? Okay, well, let me explain. I thought it was just a phase. You thought your you marriage given... was just a phase? No. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the relationship between her and I was just a phase. When I... When I... I had no intentions on actually, like, going this far with her. Still, he's not giving me the choice. Insta- it was an Instagram thing. I'm thinking it's an Instagram fling, whatever, whatever. Okay, wait a minute. Over. L- hold, 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 hold up. up, hold up. All right, let's just go with that. But do you think at month six you might mention your kids and your wife? Well, the thing is, Mm-mm. we separated. What about month nine? What, what about month nine? Is that when you finally say, I'm married and I got kids? What about... What, what about 18 months in? Do you say, what? by the way... When you get through at the grocery store, I need to talk to you about my wife and my kids. When did right. you... Right. When is the magic moment that you dropped the bomb, I'm married, and I got kids? When does that happen? I, I plan on doing that according to how we were going to be in a relationship. And that but was you a thing. But you've I... already said what starts in deception ends in deception. Exactly. And you know what? Because we want to know about the deception. And we want to know what's true. Your wife is here. (laughs) Wait a minute. (laughs) So we gonna find out. Y'all some bloodhounds. But but first... Before we get to that... (laughs) We're gonna find out what's going on with Miss Hayes. And then we're going to find out what's going on with you. Right now, we still have allegations, Ms. Hay, that you're not being truthful to him. Now, we're going to find out about his issues, but what we have here is you're getting text messages from someone who says they want your beautiful energy in their space, and he comes home and finds the towel spread out on the bed in a position that leads him to believe that you were using that towel to have sex with somebody else. And all of this is fueling his suspicion that you're cheating on him. This court has conducted a full investigation to find out whether she is cheating. (laughs) At this time, the court would like to call licensed and certified polygraph examiner Kendall Schull. Ron, would you please escort him into the courtroom? Yes, Sean. My innocent... Mr. Shul, good day. Good day, Your Honor. Glad to have you. Good to be here. You conducted a polygraph examination of Ms. Hayde, is that correct? I did, Your Honor. And she was asked, since the beginning of your relationship with Mr. Mm. Mathis in February of 2016, have you had sexual intercourse with any other men? What was her response? Her response was no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that she was being truthful, Your Honor. (laughs) All right.
right. So we have one person who's being truthful. Ms. We got Hayes. one person being truthful, Miss Hayes. <laughs> On that question. On that, well, I don't that like is the honor. question. That was the question. You came here for an like answer. Honor. You said she was cheating, and the polygraph says she has not cheated. He's the one with the secrets. Now we're about to find out about you, Mr. Mathis. Because we've heard your side, and we've heard her side. Now it's time to hear from your wife's side. Miss <laughs> Hayes, you've never seen this woman. You never, never met this woman. Once. Ron, would you please escort her <laughs> into the courtroom? Yes, y'all. <laughs> Mr. Mathis, you bouncing up. around like a pinball. You nervous? What you nervous up. about? Why you nervous? Good day, ma'am. How are you? All right, how are you? Would you state your name, please? Yes, I am Tiffany Mathis. Miss Mathis, what is your relationship to Mr. Cameron Mathis? Um, that's my husband, um, but we're separated. But you're still legally married? Yes, legally, yes. Were you aware of Miss Hayde? No. How often do you see Mr. Mathis? Um, he comes by periodically because he comes to see his children, and we were just intimate like Saturday. So. <gasps> what? So you are still in an intimate relationship with Mr. Mathis? Yes. So when he comes by to see the kids, he comes by to see you too. <laughs> well, not all, <laughs> not all the time. When I get that itch, he's just the one I want to scratch. <gasps> And this has been going on wow. pretty much since the time you all been separated. Yes. <laughs> so even during this last two years, you've been getting scratched. No, he's been getting scratched, not me. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably one of the biggest shocks we've ever had in this courtroom. Because I have not had someone come here accusing someone who's innocent, <laughs> who is really running game. You ain't doing nothing but running game. Now you can call it what you want. You can call her taking care of my baby's mama. You can call whatever you want. But you've got this young lady living with her, making her life a living hell, accusing her and making her uncomfortable when you're doing your own thing. Yeah, and I heard him talking about being truthful. Like, he's, he's, he's not being truthful. Mr. Mathis, you I... can... I, 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 you have talked enough. <laughs> now I'm gonna get to talk. I'm not surprised. You came here trying to get honesty in your relationship and find out she's being truthful and you the one that's being deceptive. Well, didn't I say we'll start you that way? Said, that way? <laughs> yo, the only thing that you said true is what starts in deception ends in deception. Right. What just happened Saturday with Miss... with Miss Masters? She said you all were intimate. Yeah, that's just me trying to make sure things is right with my baby mama. <laughs> Your Honor. Well, let me wow. ask this question. Let me let me just put it out there, mm -mm. so we're all clear. Who's on the side? Is it Miss Hay? I... Or is it Mrs. Mathis? I mean, Who's I... the side chick in this? She better. It has it to be no me. Side. I don't want him. <laughs> I... I don't want him. It's, it's not. That's what I'm saying. Paranoid. It ain't no side thing. I'm trying to move forward in life with this woman. Like, me and her gonna get a divorce, and I'm willing to marry Rocky. I'm willing to marry her. Okay, okay, but the big question is you willing? Miss Hayden, are you willing to marry him? I don't know about now, after today. He betrayed me. I feel really betrayed. Like, you know, he's he's the one accusing me of cheating all the time, and you know, here he is sleeping with his wife or whatever. Run. <laughs> well. Every day. Every day. It's always something. And you are accusing her and talking badly and making her feel badly? This beautiful young woman. And what you're doing is potentially ruining her for her future. How is she gonna trust another man? Well, that's, that's the point of me being here. That's the point of me being here is to, is to like, just bring this all to the, the head so it can bust like a pimple. It's like... Oh, it's busted like more than a pimple. It's busted, busted, busted. I, I want, I wanted everything to be. I didn't know y'all was gonna go this far. <laughs> we we, we said, are nothing uh, if not thorough, honey. We that's said what this we court do. did a full and complete investigation, and that's what we do. But now that we've uncovered the truth, 
You know, there's got, there's a choice has got to be made. Mm. And I you said he rescued you from a previous bad situation. Mm. He did. You might not feel it now, but you may be being rescued right now from this bad situation. Yeah. I agree. Run, run it's don't lie. I agree, it's a lot to think about. It's a lot. Whatever you and your wife need to work out, y'all can work that out. But until you work that out, don't bring anybody else into this madness. As we say in this courtroom, do not cheat yourself out of the opportunity to have a happy, healthy, <laughs> truth-filled relationship. Court is adjourned. As y'all can see, we definitely decided to stick around and try and work this thing out. We're gonna practice what's called expanded relationship. Cameron and I decided to call off the separation. Cameron and I decided to work it out and, you know, adjust my new life with my new family. Thank now you. Now I got Bye. two women in my life. <laughs>